The Milwaukee Bucks are a team we haven't really talked about on this channel so far this offseason, but it is a team that I really like what they're doing. I think they are making some sleeper moves with who they brought in through the draft, really like Andre Jackson. They go out, they get a new head coach, Budenholzer's gone, uh, they bring in Adrian, Adrian Griffin. I think that's a good move, but again, he doesn't have the most experience in the world. However, he's coaching an absolute juggernaut, a team that should be the number one seed in the Eastern Conference every single year. They run it back with their core, bringing back Brooke Lopez, bringing back Chris Middleton. Um, they still got Drew Holiday. Of course, they got Giannis. So we're going to look at the Milwaukee Bucks and what I think the expectation for them this season should be. Um, you know, definitely... Definitely should be competing for an NBA championship, so make sure to hit the like button and hit the subscribe button if you do enjoy today's video at any point. Now let's go ahead and get started looking at who they re-signed, and it starts with Brooke Lopez, who they bring back on a two-year, $48 million deal. Uh, he actually was going to go to the Houston Rockets. The deal was in place, and then at the last second, he changed his mind. He goes back to Milwaukee. Huge get for Milwaukee. A guy that averaged 16 points, 6.7 rebounds, 1.3 assists. And if you watched any Milwaukee games last year, as you see right there, you know he was the centerpiece of that defense. Giannis is really good defensively, but Brooke Lopez, 53% from the field, 38% from three, 2.5 blocks a night. He was one of the centerpieces of that defense. And getting him back for two more years, even though he's getting up there, is still a great deal. And then you get Chris Middleton, three years, $102 million. Um, another guy that I think will be a good deal at the end of the day. People forget how good Chris Middleton is. Last year, he only averaged 15 points, 4.2 rebounds, 5 assists. But still, this is a guy that usually, when he's healthy, is 25-5 and five on like 45% from the field, 38% from three. Last year, the field goal percentage was not good. Three-point percentage was not good. But 90% from the free throw line. Uh, that, that's what you love to see when he's coming back, getting into that form, being able to knock down shots. And, and a lot of times for shooters, you look at that free throw percentage to tell if, if that's, you know, that's a big indicator of if they can shoot or not. So yeah, bringing those guys back, running it back with the current core, that's going to be huge. And then you also got this elite defensive duo. We talked about Brooke Lopez being the centerpiece of the du defense, but this duo right here, I mean, they just funnel things right into him. Giannis, I mean, he's, he's decent in offense as well. 31 points a game, 12 rebounds, 5.7 assists. Dude is just an absolute juggernaut of a basketball player. So, obviously, you have him for the new coach. That helps. He makes eight free throws a game, um, even though the percentage is not there. He gets to the line a lot, um, driving in 55% from the field. 31 points a game on 55% from the field is kind of crazy. And if he shot, like, 80% from the free throw line instead of, like, 50%, he could easily be averaging 35, 36 a night. Also a block and a steal per game, so a true two-way superstar. And then Drew Holiday, 19.3 points, 5 rebounds, and 7.4 assists per game. A guy that doesn't get enough credit for being a two-way guy, but you know he's, he's really good for them offensively. Really more of a combo guard for them. 48% from the field, 38% from three there, and about a steal and a half per game. Very good numbers for Drew Holiday this year. And then the new coach. Like I said, Adrian Griffin is coming over from the Toronto Raptors. Actually, the father of A.J. Griffin Jr., uh, or I guess he just goes by A.J. Griffin, but it's Adrian Griffin Jr. for the Atlanta Hawks. Um, so maybe we see A.J. Griffin in a Milwaukee Bucks jersey here before long. Uh, if not, you know, I guess it's all right, but he would be a great piece around Giannis. Um, but Adrian Griffin, not too much head coaching experience in the NBA, which is a bit concerning for a team that's coming in trying to win now. Thought they pulled the plug a little bit soon on Budenholzer. I mean, he won the championship a couple of years ago, but at the end of the day, he got gentlemen swept by the eighth seed. You got to get your job done. I know, you know, Giannis was hurt, but th this team was too good. I mean, you look at the role players. They also got Grayson Allen, who averaged 10 points a game and three rebounds last year as really that fifth starter for them. He was a really, really nice piece to have around Giannis just because of his ability to shoot the three ball. 44% from downtown, 44% from the field as well. Um, and then you also have Javon Carter, who's one of the better backup point guards in the NBA. Just doesn't get enough love. Eight points a game and two and a half rebounds in limited minutes. Again, like I said, as a backup point guard, he brings the clamps and he shoots at 42% from three. You got to love that. 42% from the field as well. Such a good piece around Giannis. You love these 3 and D guys. And then Bobby Portis, fan favorite. Bobby averaged 14 and 9 last year. So, I mean, he's more than just a fan favorite. He's a solid piece in this Milwaukee team 
40% from the field, 37% from three. Very, very good numbers for Bobby Portis. And then the hidden gems, in my opinion. A couple of guys that are going to have big-time years this year for the Bucks are Andre Jackson Jr. and Marjan Beauchamp. Andre Jackson, seven points, six assists, seven rebounds. Dude was really, really good last year at UConn. One of the most underrated players in the draft because he is so good defensively, so versatile, and, you know, he doesn't have to have the ball on offense to make plays. He's a good cutter off the ball, shot at 43% from the field, also averaged a steal per game this year, and he's a very good passer. Six assists per game in the college game is elite. And then you got Marjon Beauchamp, who kind of went viral this summer for dropping 83 uh, in a pro-am, five points a game, two rebounds, one assist last year. And I think, you know, as a 3 and D wing around Giannis, he's going to be very, very good this year. 40% from the field, 33% from three. He's a guy to look out for in Milwaukee this year. And then their sleeper signing that I really, really like is Malik Beasley. 13 points a game and three and a half rebounds for the Timberwolves and Lakers last year. Kind of bounced around the Jazz as well. Um he shot at 40% from the field, 35% from three. So Beasley is a guy that, you know, could come off the bench. He could be a microwave guy, could come in and just light it up as soon as he gets in off the bench. And I like that role for him here in Milwaukee. Uh, now, let's take a look at the lineups. Drew Holiday at the starting point guard spot. Then you got Grayson Allen, Chris Middleton, Giannis, and Brooke Lopez. Really running it back, but this team didn't really get a lot of time together last year in the regular season due to Chris Middleton being out for a while. Um, Drew Holiday, I think him and Grayson Allen, that's a really good backcourt. Both of them can shoot the ball. Drew Holiday can really, really defend. He'll be the point of attack defender. And then you need Chris Middleton to get back to his 20-point per game form. And, you know, this is a very, very solid starting lineup. You got Giannis. It was just Giannis. I mean, he's one of the best players in the NBA, probably probably top three, definitely top five. And then you got Brooke Lopez. Uh, between Giannis and Brooke Lopez and Drew Holiday, there's your defense. You know, Chris Middleton, I guess, you know, is whatever. Grayson Allen, whatever, on the defensive side of the ball. But you got a big three of defense, and you got a big big four of scoring, really. And then you look at the bench, and the bench is deeper than people may think. Javon Carter, like I said, really, really good backup point guard. He's just solid. And then you got Pat Connaughton, who can play as well, um, and Bobby Portis. Those are your three main backups. And then I'm looking for Marjan Beauchamp, and I'm looking for Andre Jackson Jr. to have big-time years this year. Um, Marjan Beauchamp. As a really good, you know, young wing that can really defend. And then Andre Jackson, just as a guy that comes in, just fits right away, can really pass the ball, can defend, can do so many different things that the new coaching staff will love. Uh, I think both of those guys are going to make big time impacts this year that people aren't really talking about. Kind of their secret weapons. And then you also have um, Thanasis who is, of course, Giannis's brother. And then you have Malik Beasley as well. So I think there are a few hidden gems on this Bucks team. And overall, I think this Bucks team should be primed to go back and make it back to... I mean, this is a team that definitely can make the NBA Finals. The East, you know, you got to beat the Celtics. That's about it. Um, I think this is a team that definitely could make another run at an NBA championship. We will see, though. It will all depend, really, on the new coaching staff on how well Giannis and company play. But like I said, with these new hidden gems, with you know the same starting five, essentially, that won a championship, instead you got Grayson Allen instead of DiVincenzo, which is a little bit of a downgrade um, defensively for sure. Dante DiVincenzo, one of the most underrated players in the league. But overall, I really like this Bucks team heading into next year. Y'all let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Though. Make sure to like button and hit the subscribe button. Also, turn on the post notification if you do like NBA content because this is the place to be. And with all that being said, thank you so much for watching today's video.